What do you think of when I say Appalachian Mountains of Kentucky? Hillbillies, rednecks, moonshine, coal miners, Loretta Lynn, Hatfields and McCoys. Me? I think about my grandmother. My grandmother was Flora Hatfield Sellers. Yes, I'm a Hatfield. Yes, I'm a coal miner's daughter. No, I can't sing. But let's get back to my grandmother. Watching Granny Flo do life was a daily lesson in ingenuity. She lived in a one-room house in a very poor neighborhood. She was able to make money by selling the jam and fruit pies that she made from the trees in her yard. She could go for a hike in the mountains and come back with a bag full of greens and flowers and herbs that always ended up on her kitchen table. You could show up at her house at any time of the day and she would put a feast on the table. And yet, my siblings and I often wondered where it came from because her cupboards and her refrigerator always seemed empty. She was clever and innovative and creative, and she was able to solve problems with her wits. She was my definition of an entrepreneur, and she was my definition of ingenuity. And ingenuity is a powerful word, but for me, ingenuity is a heart word. It evokes awe and wonder. It makes me think always, how did they do that? Now, have you ever been to Chaco Canyon or the um, Mesa Verde in northern New Mexico? Isn't it an amazing feat of ingenuity? It is amazing to me that these and this, this ancient group of Pueblo people were able to create this magnificent and very spiritual community that focused greatly on the power of Mother Nature. And what about Venice, Italy? Who would have ever thought that you could build that kind of city on marshland? And then Switzerland. Swiss ingenuity actually created ways to move up and down and through mountains to be able to take people and things. And it is amazing. And we get to see that every day in Albuquerque, New Mexico, because the Swiss created the tram that goes one mile up to the top of the Sandia Mountains. We have these extraordinary entrepreneurs. They have faced challenges, and those challenges have created context. So that context is used for our modern day entrepreneurs. What about the artificial hand that was made with a 3D printer? Or the solar energy powered um, system that allows clean water to be in our third world nations? And how about the app that allows people to get medical care no matter where they are, day or night? I am fortunate to be one of the many leaders at Central New Mexico Community College. I get to see ingenuity every single day. The faculty and staff and students at CNM are incredible entrepreneurs. Last week, there was an article in the student paper that talked about one of our chemistry professors who had developed some tools so that disabled students could take her chemistry class. 
We had a student last year who came after graduating with an engineering degree to take a welding class so that she could build an all-terrain wheelchair so that her husband could go on hikes with her in the mountains. And what about the young couple who finished their culinary arts program and opened a restaurant in downtown Al Albuquerque that has been going for almost five years? This is an incredibly wonderful community where there are clever and innovative and creative souls that have created great things as a result of their entrepreneurial spirit. But what is the context that we offer them here in New Mexico? The context includes a diverse, multilingual community, a place where people really care about each other, where families become friends and friends become our families. We live in a place that is unbelievably beautiful. We have the mountains, a big sky, sunsets, rainbows. There is no way to match the sunshine in New Mexico. We also face challenges. Many of the challenges that we share with communities throughout the United States. We live in a time where it is easier to be critical than to be a critical friend. We often get information that is based on opinion rather than facts. And because things are so easy to do in an anonymous way, we often are able to walk away from a statement that we have made without understanding the hurt that we have created. We live in a time where the message, you can't do that, is done much more loudly and much more effectively than the, of course you can do that, that we all heard from our grandmothers. My Granny Flo's ingenuity is what we need in this community. My Granny Flo's ingenuity is what brings people together and creates an opportunity for us to be supportive and encouraging and lift up our entrepreneurs. We live in a place where our business and our education communities are ready and able and certainly desiring to support those entrepreneurs that will change the world we live in. I would like to end where I started in the hollers of Kentucky and say to you that Loretta Lynn's favorite quote was, you have to be different, really great, or first. I think that's a great message, and it's time we get started. Thank you.